हेलो एवरीवन हेयर वी आर सॉल्विंग द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन शेयर्स एंड डिविडेंड एज आई टोल्ड यू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज द लैंग्वेज हेयर द लैंग्वेज इज अ मैन परचेजेज 600 शेयर्स ऑफ फेस वैल्यू रुपीज फोर्टी एट पार सो दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेज here we can also write it as face value rupees 40 at 5 discount or face value rupees 40 at 10 premium when i am saying at par that means a share of rupees 40 is purchased at rupees 40 only and there is no premium and no discount if there is a premium then rupees 40 will be more than rupees 40 if it is a discount then it is less than rupees 40 so here the value or the face value of the share is rupees 40 itself now a man purchases 600 shares it means the number of shares which he has to purchase is 600 definitely if one of the share is costing rupees 40 and there are 600 shares he has to purchase then he has to invest 600 multiply by rupees 40 as the total investment so i am saying the total investment to be done by the shareholder is number of shares that is 600 multiply by the face value or the market value so the total investment of the person is 24000 rupees now if a dividend of 1680 was received at the end of the year is it means that at the end of the year the total dividend a man is getting is rupees 1680 here there is one very very important thing that a man may get dividend twice in a year they might write it as if the dividend of rupees 1680 was received at the end of half year that means that particular dividend is only for half the year or 6 months here it is for one year that is 1680 now we have to calculate the rate of dividend the rate of dividend is definitely the total dividend that is rupees 1680 divided by the investment that is rupees 24000 multiply by 100 when we talk about the term rate it has to be calculated in percentage so once we cancel it out 24 7ja 168 so it is basically 7% dividend now we have calculated this 7% dividend from the company point of view because there is no market value given here so we cannot calculate the dividend from the shareholders point of view as far as the amount given by the company is 1680 and the amount received by the shareholder is also rupees 1680 because amount wise the values are both given by the company as well as received by the shareholder in the next topic we will talk about in the next video we will talk about the second uh, example thank you